All right, so we're going to start up the second video. I'm not one to give up. I don't care if it's the Romans. I don't care. I don't care who it is. They're going down. They're going down this time. In fact, I think, you know what's po you know what I think is possible? I think if you really lucked out, I'm thinking you could get a build no units domination victory. And I think it's only possible with the Arabs. I think it's possible. This is doable. If I could just get just a little bit of luck this time, a little random number generator to help me out. An early scientist. Give me an early scientist that I can plant and just get way more tech. I would have been way ahead of the game there. Who are we using? Japan, once again. Attempt two. I'm interested how the Arabs would do in this scenario. I, I don't think I will ever recover. I think on my tombstone it'll say, this guy was a scrub. He lost in Maze Map World. <laughs> he, lost, he lost in Maze Map World to the Romans. Like the giant scrub that he is. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Penetration. Way to kick a man when he's down. Oh my goodness. It's the Zulu. Dude, the Zulu are like all over this map already. <laughs> Everything's gonna go perfect this time, guys. All right, just hang in there. Oh, we got a whale. That's a good thing. Build the temple. this crap again I'm going for it and if I die I'm totally resetting <laughs> and I don't feel bad about it at all I don't know if you were here earlier but this caused a reset in one of my earlier tries Oh man, random number generator has smiled on me. Thank you.
That's right, baby. Just as I planned. Just as I planned. Well, since I kind of lucked out there, what I'm going to do... First of all, I'll grow this city. I got a courthouse for free and democracy. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, screw them. Screw the Azte uh Greek. Screw the, screw the Greek. So, I am damn it. Zulu are driving me nuts because they're running all over the map getting everything because of their stupid warrior movement. Could go for tech here, but nah. How old are you? Thirty-eight. How old are you, Doctor Penetration Zero? You got some knowledge for us, Dr. Penetration Zero? He's got some knowledge. He loves knowledge even more than Lamborghinis. Alright. Getting some decent tech now, so that's good. Uh let's see here. Going the peace route. <laughs> it's a good question. Super Slick Rick, have you read 1,000 books? I don't think so, buddy. I looked out and got democracy early from these, uh, from the Greek. So, the strategy is tech, tech, tech. Tech my way to victory. And, uh, just hold on to my butt cheeks and hope I make it.
Alright, no Chinese in the game. Yeah, you can win a tech victory. Basically, you just gotta la launch a few space modules into outer space. Uh, are the Romans in the game? Let's hope not. Nope, they're not. Now, what would be really sweet is if I can get this first, and what will happen is, is I'll get a trading post in this city right here, and I've been kind of growing this up. Growing it up real big. So, uh, hopefully we can get something good here. It's pretty much a worthless city at the moment, but kind of banking on it being something wonderful in about 40 turns. Oh, got a free spy too, so that's really good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to steal some of those great people. I know the Zulu got the school of Confucius, so I'm going to try to see if I can steal one or two of those. Trying to see what they have over there. Oh, get away. What do we got here? Gold. Science! Science! I love it. Um, question is, what shall I do? with my settler. It's got to be something I can actually defend. So... Don't see anything quite yet. Nice. Oh, man. I don't think I can get there before the Zulu. that Romans again? No, it's not. Couldn't be. What color was that? Oh, it's the Americans. Look like purple. Nobody covers their territory the way the Zulu does. They're just unbelievable. Be nice if I can get navigation. Maybe I can move this guy to an island. But I don't want him just standing around forever. But there's really nowhere great to put him. I guess here would be better than nothing. It's a pretty dumpy spot.
This guy has way too much gold. I'll give you ceremonial burial. Let's try to just take some of this guy's money. I'm gonna give him too much though. Gonna have to be careful. Don't want this guy to take me down. Um, <laughs> I see what you're talking about now. Super slick, Rick. <laughs> don't really care for any of these spots. I don't know. Could dump him into the capital. That's not really ideal either, though. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. That's a good thing. What city did it put that in? Pottery. Could I don't think I really need to backfill, so I'm definitely blowing them away in technology right now, so that's a good thing. Could go for currency. And I may be able to backfill a lot of these techs. So no one's got pottery yet. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to help this spy. Cause these Zulu guys are just gonna come running in and just steal her. It's not considered an act of war to take a spy, so. Let's go get some map knowledge. All right. There we go. All right. Getting somewhere here. Whew. Please don't steal my spy. That's the worst. First tier tech. Damn, Zulu are going bananas. What I may do with this guy is run him 
down here. That might actually be okay, because he'll get two science tiles down there. Which is alright. On this map. This map doesn't have a lot of water access, so... It's about as good as it's going to get right now. We're going to have to babysit this spy, but it's totally worth it right now. Dual library? Uh, I'm not totally sure about that, but it's going to give me a big advantage right now. So I might as well just burn the money on something good. Market in Athens. Navigation would be really good. Set up my capital, start growing it over there. Um, let's see. I was kind of hoping to backfill some of this stuff. But nobody has gotten pottery yet, so... Maybe worth skipping that. Navigation's only five turns? Seems really worth it to me. Plus it'll backfill a lot of techs. So I think it's worth it. And it will be the key to growth in my capital, so... Damn, where'd this guy come from? Got pushed out. No. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> this is from getting, uh, actually researching currency. It's a nice, because when you actually research currency, you actually get a market, as we got right here. Which is kind of like a waste now, almost. But, not really. Now we're getting three gold per turn. As a result of a free market. We're going to have to run this over to... Do a little exploration too. Good enough. Looks like the Americans are going bananas. Yeah, so you can backfill technologies if, um, let's say I complete navigation. Well, as you saw, pottery and horseback riding have not been researched yet, but if they're done being researched by the time um, I'm done with navigation, what happens is I'm getting 36 per turn. So... What happens is I'll finish navigation and it'll check. It'll say, does anyone else, does anyone in the game have uh, pottery or horseback riding? And if they do, I get it for free if I'm making 20 per turn. So if you can research it in one turn and someone else has it, you get it for free. That's, that's how you backfill. So sometimes it's really not worth going back, especially that first tier where you really get no rewards at all. Um, damn, I'm already 
already up to seven techs. Holy cow. Um, Mike, I have both. The answer is both. I have a stream schedule and they all go on YouTube. So both. This is interesting. Interesting. Of course, the Zulu blocked me. Oh, the English are in this game. Sure are a lot of caravan running around. Uh, that's about to grow. That's good. This is a ways away from growing. 42 a turn. Not too bad. Oh! Watch out. Yeah, the Zulu are definitely probably... I would say one of the most feared AI opponents, just because they eat up so much map, uh, they eat up so many barbarians and everything, they're just really aggressive and they run around everywhere, and there's a lot of special cases with them, like you have to worry about them creeping up on you from two tiles away all the time, and you won't see them coming. Let's see what it gives me. Uh, of course it gave me the gold guy. Damn, I'm like running into a guy at every intersection. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could get a spy from this barbarian hut over here. That would be perfect. Alright, let's see, did we get, I think we got pottery backfilled, so yeah, there's a good, ex well, still not backfilled, holy cow. Well, screw it then, let's get literacy. I lost, man, the last game. It was really close. Basically, the Romans built 21. Uh, they hit 21 cultural milestones, and then I just did not get to 20,000 gold in time. So we're going for run number two here. I'm not sure what's, what I should do with this boat. I don't know what kind of... What there is to explore, really. Oh, oh, that's really good. There's another. Mo there's another whale. That's really good. 
Whew. Temple. How do we get a courthouse? I think it's from literacy, right? Oh, he's coming for me. How many years have I been playing this game? Uh, I'd say, what, I played it first in 2009, I guess? Please, please give me a spy. Pottery. Total junk, man. Oh, they got a great. Oh, that's so rare. They have a great general. I wonder if these guys have archers yet. Masonry and irrigation would both be nice. I want the wall for defense. And I need a courthouse too. <laughs> oh, I just got banking. Nice. This is going pretty well, to be honest. I'm gonna send this guy to the west, the western city, just because there's a market over there, so makes more sense, right? Oh, that's some BS. No, the way this map is laid out, there's just no way to really expand out into the water or anything like that. Man, that is a ball breaker. Look at this garbage. What sort of fool do you think I am? Uh, 
barracks. Gonna need that at some point. might have to bring that boat back just to build a barrier because <laughs> that's all I have for units um, just trying to get rid of my money here what oh this guy is so mad Pretty much got to sell this guy. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I was better off selling this. Well, at least I got rid of him. See you later. gonna have to run over there and take it I guess that sucks <laughs> I cannot get this guy off my case what the hell is this guy doing he's like running what a maniac. Oop, oop, oop. Damn it. Zulu are so annoying. I can't even put in words. Damn, can you not get a great person? Ouch, that is messing me up. Hey, got us a spy. What in the world? This guy is insane. This guy's running over here with his settlers. Well, hopefully I can at least get this stupid city back. If not, I'm doomed. I need that city. I know. Should have chose the Mongols.
this is a really important battle. Ooh. <laughs> All they have to do is ask for peace and I lose. This is not good. It's not good odds. All it would take to is just lo losing that battle and it'd be over. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Hope I get lucky here. If the Zulu come out and attack that, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Damn, this thing's... City's doing awesome though. <sighs> this is insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Dude, get away. can't care right now that he's going to take that other city. This one's more important. Damn, dude. Just keep taking damage. This guy has so much money. Come on, militia. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The Zulu are bananas. Get the hell away from me, England. See, I'm trying to take a capital here. Oh. Well, if this doesn't happen, forget it. How can I even compete? Pikeman? Mm. 
Yeah, it looks bad. I think I just have to take a risk, and if it if don't get it, it's over. Whew. Dude. They are everywhere. I don't really need a technology right now. <laughs> how did, how are the Zulu this high up on the left? I don't understand how they're... Probably because they got 900 Zulu barbarian huts at the beginning of the game. Just bound to get wiped out here. <sighs> Dude, they have unlimited armies there. This militia is a gangster, though. That's right. Guy's gonna be a great general. I don't, I don't think he can get elite status or even veteran. Wow, what do you know? A freaking scientist. Am I actually going to take this thing? Holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Dude! They're like running out of like the shadows. You can't even stop them. Get out of here. The odds are not in my favor here. I'm amazed they haven't gotten an army yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. There you go. Should have healed up, I guess. Question is, could I win anyway? 
still smoking them. Maybe. Yeah. The Zulu have been unbelievable. They have been giving me headaches from the very beginning of the game. No doubt. But at least I got a great scientist. I'm kind of feeling good about that. <laughs> Whew. It was like they just never ran out of units. It's never ending. Get out of here, man. I'm sick of you. I'm talking all that smack. Keep the faith. We, there's still a good shot here. This is ugly. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Obviously, this is not an easy challenge. Yeah, it's a courthouse sitting on top of uh, that special tile. Oh no, someone get Colossus? Temple, market. Temples aren't so great. East India would be great, on the other hand. I don't know how I feel about that. The computer like magically knows whenever you have a great well they know about your settled great people and they always just like whenever you have them they're just so aggressive and they just constantly badger you like, give me that great person now you're like give me a break man let me these guys over here. Nice. What on the what are the English doing? I like building cities on top of me. I may, maybe they're trying to give me cities. Maybe the computer is starting to feel bad for me. That's possible. This is the most insane computer I've ever seen. Like, who? Why the hell did he run a settler over here? I think I know why. I don't think the AI has any comprehension of these unnatural wall structures. So it just thought, oh, this is just a little bit over here. You know, it's right by this nice tree. So I'm just going to run over here. Makes sense. Alrighty. 
Uh, what the hell? Well, at least I got another knight. No, it would be really nice is if you were playing this scenario and you got a bunch of horse armies from the barbarian huts. I've never, I've never been able to get that, but I'm sure it's possible. And then what you could do is you can get Leonardo's workshop and just Then you could actually make some knight armies, which would be nice. <laughs> They're just lining up to lining up to die. I'm okay with that. Yeah, you can do a one city tech victory. Boom. Industrialization. Five gold per turn. <laughs> My favorite food? Okay, so it's actually something I don't have easy access to. So I used to be in the Air Force and uh, there was this place in Okinawa, Japan called Koko Ichibanya Curry House. And it had I don't even I'm not like a person that's really big on Indian food or Eastern food that much. But I'm telling you this curry was so good. I mean it was just unbelievable. And uh I wish it would come to the States. I'm here in Maryland so I wish it would come out here. But if they're they're nowhere close. Right now they're closest location they have is in Los Angeles but it's mostly in Hawaii and mainly in Japan um, if you look them up if you google Koko Ichibanya curry house you'll find them they're uh the curry is just unbelievable they give you little fried chicken cutlets and you put that on your plate and you give you a little serving of rice and the curry itself is just really what seals it it's so good the flavor is just undes indescribable and then they put cheese on it too it's pretty good so uh that is my favorite food and ever since i left okinawa i've been pretty sad that i could not eat it all the time anymore Uh, let's see.
These guys are making me nervous. I was going to explore a little bit, but it's looking frightening. Maybe I can take this city out. Ah. I doubt it. Nah. It's not happening. Need that university so badly. There we go. Man, it is pretty rare to lose a game where you get corporation and industrialization, but that's what actually happened in that last game. I need a real defensive unit. That's what I really need. What? What the hell? Did you see that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so doomed. Oh my goodness. Totally got this. This is not a problem. No, not that one. I need this guy. I got this. Temple could actually help me out because these people need to get <laughs> get off my property here. Uh, here, you want the engineering? Here you go. Get out of here. Can I get rid of you? I love banking. There you go. Just chill out for a few turns, alright? 
Chill out. Temple might help me out, man. I need some breathing room. A very big way. Whew. Thought I was done. Thought I was done, didn't you? I'm just playing badly to make it a little more interesting. Hey, new defensive units receive loyalty. That could be useful. I hope these guys get loyalty. No! <laughs> I didn't get it first. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm thinking about flipping them. Ah, oh, goodness. Are you serious? Oh, that's bad. That's nah, really bad. I really needed that guy. Am I scared of any of these guys? Don't think so. I think we got this. Might as well sell my galleon. Can't do anything with that. <laughs> I need that first. No matter what. Wow. Get wrecked. Oh, baby. Forget about it. Man, get get out of here. <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. This guy's a legend. Forget about it, man. You ain't getting in here. That was amazing. Two more turns. Two more. Holy cow, this guy is amazing. Wow. Yeah, these guys are greater than rifle. Hey, I hope these little army guys stay here. Oh my goodness, are you serious? I can't believe I held out until modern infantry. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it appears they are the best unit.
All right, let's see how these guys do. Oof. I think the militia would have done better. I think I need insurance here. I don't know. <laughs> Sell them. Don't need them. Market. Oh, man. Do I need a wall? I don't think so. It's risky, though. Eight. I wish I can get these guys off my case. So many things I want to buy, I just can't. I'm gonna have to make sure I stay in the game for a while. So let's get this. If I can hang in here, I might be able to pull this off. This one's just as much of a nail biter as the last one. Maybe more so. huh yeah that would be nice steel also nice if I can get a tank I think I'd be pretty happy about that I just need a lot of things right now I have no units at all to defend myself with Kind of hoping they level up my modern infantry for me. Well, I don't have an army, so I can't. The only thing they get is veteran, but they already have veteran. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you can get upgrades. You don't need to be an army. You just need an army for great general. So, that could work. Need stuff. Build faster. What the hell are these army guys doing building fortresses? It's actually kind of helping me out. It's keeping the more dangerous units off of my property. Um. Uh, All right, I actually backfilled religion. Atomic theory. <laughs> Has Twitch actually figured out that Civilization Revolution doesn't have a proper logo yet. Like, it doesn't even have the box art.
This is actually kind of a nice setup because they're keeping the Zulu out. Yeah, it's not a lot of people that twitch this game. No one that plays at really a high level or anything like that. Or does anything interesting that I've seen. Oh boy, this is a giant mess. Stop it. Eh, just get it. Holy cow. What are these guys doing? Actually, 18 people watching right now? That's the most I've ever seen watching this game. March? Come on. What the hell am I going to do with March? As my city is under siege. Yeah, let me march. What did you give me? Alright. Not too bad. Could actually do something with that. Atomic theory would be nice. It could nuke somebody. Go right back to combustion and continue defending best as I can here. Try to whittle down some of these units that are just set. It looks like a like I set up a rock concert or something. They're just hanging out, hanging out on my property. Be nice if I could get a battleship actually. It's getting to a point where I kind of need it. But I just don't have enough defensive firepower to defend myself and just get rid of people. It helps if you can just weaken them a little bit. <laughs> That's kind of why I want this tank. Woo! Get off my lawn! This is looking good. They're only at 24 techs and I'm at 31. So that's looking pretty good to be honest. Um, and they're on... Closest, uh, the Americans got six culture milestones. Yeah, so I don't know. I think we're in, we got a shot here, guys. I think we can do this. Granary. Despite everyone being right on top of me. That's all right. The Americans are, ooh, 
Yikes. 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 Zulur. Not screwing around it at all. Not good enough. Gonna have to let my modern infantry do its job. That's not good. Might be nice to take a little heat off. I have enough room on them. I, th I have enough. I think we'll be good. It'd be nice if I could get a gold, a great explorer. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let's settle him and go for economic victory. I wanted to save that tank. Losing that would have broke my heart, so... That would have been tragic. And we still got a lot of wonders left here. None of the gold ones, though. East India Company, but I feel like... That's going to get obsoleted soon, so... Samurai Castle... I might want to get Samurai Castle just for the sake of denying it to the rest of them. <laughs> I don't want them attacking me with Samurai Castle. Oh no! Get him! Empire is safe. Hey, get out of here. Market Aqueduct. Level this tank up. There we go. Getting a battleship, so that's very good. Very, very good. <laughs> oh, no! Yes! That's right. So from this point, I believe I'm just going to research the smallest technology in order to get gold spillover. Um, aqueduct bank. Hi. 
And let's swap it over to gold and see what happens. Let's move this guy over here to guard this whale. And we're going to move this guy here to help kill people. Defend the city. Can I take him? No reason to take a risk here. Let's chill. I don't know if that's guaranteed. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not really sure about guaranteed victories in those situations where you got like a single unit against an army. Like what kind of ratio you need to guarantee that. I can't believe the English are attacking with horse armies. It's pretty ridiculous. March? I don't know. Just pumping this city up, making oh. Wow, they built a wall. Kinda wish I had a um uh, spy. There's a there's a great person like right next to my city. Um, cathedral is not really going to help me here. How about... Maybe? Just to kind of help me out a little bit. Those guys can hang out in those trees all day. It doesn't bother me. Be nice to get automobile. Artillery units are pretty awesome. I don't know, man. I should probably go for East India Company. I mean. I don't know when that will... I don't know when they'll find flight. No, Mike, I think the hardest thing to do would be to win this map as a... Well... I mean, if you had to pick the absolute hardest thing, it would probably be just a random free-for-all map. Scenarios are a little bit easier just because it's a little more controlled and you can expect to know certain things about the map. Um, so I would say a, <laughs> a free-for-all deity, build no units, domination map, 
the domination victory. That would be the hardest. I've been kind of thinking about ways that would be possible. It would have to be in a really controlled scenario. But it may be, I, I've been uh, researching ways to do that. It may, be, it may be worth a try. Just for fun. That would be super funny. I mean, build no units and win? Are you serious? Uh, domination victory? <laughs> Come on. It's so absurd. Civ 3. The old one? Holy cow. No, I haven't played Civ 3. Not too happy about a Zulu cruiser showing up. <laughs> Damn. These guys are not giving up. Civ three? Wow. Yeah, I've heard I mean I've heard I think the series has been pretty a pretty good game ever since I don't know, Civ two or probably even the original was pretty good. I heard Age of Empires was really good too. Age of Empires 2. My friend always used to talk about that game, but I, didn't, I never ended up playing that one. Should I even bother? Should I even bother with Samurai Castle? That's the question. The city is getting huge. <laughs> Fucking out on these boat battles. <laughs> Looks like no more wall for them. No more fortress. Scout is completely... No, medic is completely worthless for tanks. They don't have to heal. Um... I think I would get advanced flight or something like that all right it's a ways to go before I actually get
Eh, a military advantage would be nice to have. Last thing I want to do is fall apart at the very last second here. <laughs> Anything that gives helps give me that advantage would be... I'll take it. I need everything I can get here. Got riflemen coming our way, so... Can't mess with that. Funny thing is, that's only plus one attack, so that's really not going to help me that much, but whatever. The computer actually does have finite number of units, so any amount that you can whittle them down, it'll, it'll help a little bit. Gorilla, nice. That was actually helpful. Might be able to get another great person before this game's over. Got an aqueduct. It's actually useful. What the hell? What are the Zulu doing? He's just marching in a circle. Why would the computer not make an army and just send a single knight? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So everyone's still at war with me. Who did I eliminate early in the game? Athens, wasn't it? Yeah. I've been thinking about experimenting with some... Uh... I was wondering if there was ways to mess with the AI. In a normal game, say you would take like a settler or a spy and just run them around their city along with some defense along with it and just to see if they respond in a weird way a lot of times you can trigger peculiar AI, AI behavior if you're like doing something unusual so it's kind of wondering about that oh man this is bad Getting close to a great person. I don't know how that could really help me right now. Gold, I guess? Oh man, an upgrade would be beautiful. Loyalty, okay, that's good.
I don't want that unit to advance though. I don't want my Yeah no Zulu are seriously they're so aggressive. What is Oxford gonna give me? I don't I'm not sure. Chops. SDI defense. Really? Okay. Um, don't really want to leave the city, so play it cool, play it cool. Blow these guys away. about it man nothing good to build at this point so can't build anything there don't really need him for anything Just hang out. Um, think about just going. Let's go straight gold now. Can't really do that though, because I need production too. I only have one city. That's a serious army right there. Maybe worth negotiating with him a little bit. Like, can I get rid of this guy for something cheap? Ha! Ah! Good old negotiations. Nice. He's completely removed. Get out of here, buddy. I don't want any last minute surprises. Um, let's chill out for a while. Damn. Wow, they built the military industrial complex. Okay, we got another great person. And we got 10,000 to go. So. And it looks like the computer is terrified of attacking. So that's good. Okay. Can't even build any wonders. Alright, good. Level me up. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, come on, catapults, man. Pretty insane that the computer, the English, 
don't have knights yet. They're, they're like the best civilization to get knights. Yep. Give me some gold. I can't believe I lost that city and I'm still hanging in there pretty well. Pretty awesome. I wasn't sure at the time. I thought for sure I was doomed. Yeah, Alley Cat, you can't really avoid it. So it's just that's kind of how you play out the scenario. Basically, you whatever free text you find or free text that you get from technology bonuses that's fine uh, but I haven't built any units this game like I haven't went into the menu and said hey give me a couple of tanks or even spies or settlers none of that is allowed so What did they do there? Did they just send in a spy? I don't know what he did. Disrupted our defenses and then they didn't attack? Like what? Yeah, barb villages, that's that's fine. You can you can you can fight stuff. That's not a problem. You can even get Leonardo's uh, Leonardo's workshop, which is nice because then you could potentially make a make an army that way. Zulu's coming back for more. <laughs> Looks like they're just camping out. And 5,700 gold to go. Whew. Leonardo da Vinci. Got two builders just hanging out. I'll just settle one of them. No more East India Company for me. Hey, someone got flight. Zulu got flight. But don't think that's going to be enough to stop me at this point, but we'll see. You never know what'll happen. I've seen crazier things happen. Right now I'm just stocking up a ton of hammers and I'm hoping that I can just finish the World Bank. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad.
Yeah, that was not good. It's okay. I still have my militia. Wow. Could this be any closer? This guy takes out my boat, I am gonna be so pissed. Yeah, this guy's not gonna lit up. He knows I'm close to a victory here. <laughs> oh man. Actually, this I think is a good thing. But I think I'm getting an upgrade. <sighs> like the dumpiest upgrades, man. Yeah, it keeps track. The game knows how many hammers you have. It, you, it's impossible to lose a hammer. Damn, the computer built like a ton of walls. Alright, that's a very good thing. hoping it can get get me there the next turn but that will be just shy that will be uh 19,962 so i need 38 gold Could sell the cannon. What do we got here? Cannons. If I sell my great builder and my cannon, that'll get me there. Yeah, 
Hey, Carlos G11. It's <laughs> going down to the buzzer, man. All right, that should get me there. Next turn. So now I'm still short. Like the math was wrong or something? What the hell? That cannon. Oh boy. There goes my cruiser. Get me out of here. I think we did it. Unless they got a surprise for me. There we go. Man, holy cow. Yeah, easy win. Yeah, right. Holy cow. That was absolutely brutal. I mean, I lost. It's it's on deity, Alley Cat. I lost two cities. I was just up against the wall like almost the entire game there. Especially that latter half. Holy cow. Let's check a take a look. Obviously, I didn't have too much going for me in that game. Just my one city. That was a real... That was a killer when I lost my city and my knight. Early in the game. Trey Norman, go to bed. What are you doing, man? Unbelievable. I was really worried that I was going to fail both times. Because for those who don't know, I was playing... Earlier, I did a attempt one earlier, and I failed. Actually, the Romans got to 20, 21 cultural milestones before I was able to finish. That last game was also pretty close, also a nail biter. <laughs> but uh, so I was really happy that I actually ended up winning in this second attempt. Um, so it's Maze Map World. If you're interested in trying it, it's uh, just try it on Deity. If you're a newer player, just try it on a lower difficulty. Basically, you run to the south of the map, and you can get a uh, you can get a knight and give it a try. See if you can do it. It's a pretty tough challenge. Um, I think there's a lot of potential to do really well on that map, but just I just. Things didn't really, you'd need a little bit of luck and a little bit of random number generator on your side. I think you could have a really awesome game on that map if things went well. And there's a lot of barbarian maps, and if, it'd be really nice if Zulu were not in the game. They're an absolute nightmare to deal with, and they gobble up all of the barbarian huts. So that's not a good thing. Um, 
Uh, have I done Deity, Quickest Victory, No Domination? Uh, I haven't really gone for like non-domination speed victory. I thought about doing some speed victory games. I thought that would be pretty cool. Like, um, one idea I was kicking around was just seeing how long it would take to get 16 domination victories, one with each civilization. That might be a little bit lengthy, so I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with a different format. Or maybe just how long it would take to do four domination victories or something like that. Yeah, this is going on YouTube, Carlos. All of my videos that I stream here go to end up going to YouTube too. So I'll upload the loss and I'll upload the victory. So people will be able to check those out. Even though it was a loss, I, th I still think it was instructive. And I think people can learn from it. And I think that uh, it was actually really entertaining to watch. Even me here playing. Because uh, it was a nail biter, man. I didn't know which way it was going to go. And... I could have easily won if it, a few things went differently. It was it was that close. So, and in this game as well, I think I could have lost if they took out if they came in and that cannon wiped out my modern infantry. I mean, that was probably game over for me. Uh, if they had a bunch of units right behind that, ready to take my city down. So, uh, that's it for tonight, guys. I'm gonna stream again on Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So I'll be back here with some more fun challenges, more ideas. Uh, I'm not sure yet what kind of game I'm going to play. Maybe a scenario, maybe a uh, free-for-all deity, maybe just go for a fast uh, tech victory or something like that. Uh, my YouTube is... Yeah, I'll link you my YouTube real quick. And here you go. And have a have a great nice have a great night, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get some sleep. I actually got to go to work in the morning. Good thing I don't require too much sleep. I can operate on four hours of sleep. It's not a problem. So uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to follow. Um, I'm definitely trying to build up the channel and uh, produce a lot of great content. So, <laughs> final exam tomorrow morning. Oh boy. I hope you're. I hope you test well. Good luck with that. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.